for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Happy President's Day. Hope you're having a good one. Mild temperatures out there throughout the Beehive State. We start with our live view from Cache Valley, Old Main, but you notice the cloud cover. Temperature sitting in the low 40s in Logan. That is about to change, folks. We've got big changes on the way, but for now, it's just the cloud cover that's pushing through the state that we're seeing in northern Utah and in central Utah with those fairly mild conditions. We will actually keep a mild overnight. Call it the warm before the storm as we sit in the upper 40s in Salt Lake right now with clouds sticking around for the next several hours. We'll probably bottom out in the upper 30s where we've seen several of our daytime highs. That'll give you an idea that we've got some changes on the way. That warmth is going to go away as we get a winter storm morning going into effect for tomorrow and a winter weather advisory in purple for the northwestern corner of the state, Castle Country, the basin, as well as southeastern Utah. So we are looking at decent, heavy, accumulating snow. The winter weather advisory locations will see totals lower than what you see in pink. And we've got some staggering times. So so that winter storm warning in Cache Valley, it starts at 11 a.m. So that'll give you an idea of that cold front with the snow when it's starting to move in. For the mountains in northern Utah, that's going to be 2 p.m. So by the afternoon, it's filling in further down along the Wasatch Front. The Wasatch Front pop proper sees this start at 5 p.m. That's when our rain will switch over to snow and that accumulation will be bulky and create for some tricky travel. 11 p.m. down there in Juab and Millard County, so the central portion of the state, and 2 a.m. Wednesday, southern Utah will be under that winter storm warning. So staggering times giving you an idea of how the system is going to move. It is going to put down a, a lot of snow, folks. This is going to be the most significant storm of the season. The system coming from the Pacific Northwest dropping in a typical Utah setup, which we haven't seen much of. Here we are in the future cast. By 5 a.m., we've got some rain showing up in the West Desert. And right there on the state line, the increasing cloud coverage there and the mountains start to pick up some snow. Again, keep in mind that we see that warning go into effect at 11 a.m. in Cache Valley. Mountain snow, valley rain, some mixed precipitation in cooler spots. Here comes the center of the trough. It's going to move on in. That valley rain will persist throughout the morning and afternoon hours, but by the time we hit the evening commute, we've got straight snow for the Wasatch Front. This is where we get really tricky travel conditions. As this moisture will head south, we get this area of low pressure that forms, and it's going to actually hover. Now, we will see the front stall just a little bit, which is why by 10 p.m., we're still getting heavy snow in portions of Salt Lake and Utah County. Davis County is going to be part of this, and as well as over in the basin. Areas south and east of this stalled front will be extremely windy. Also, looking at rain because we still have the moisture that's holding on there. Cold air behind the front, so north of the front is very chilly. It's going to lift this system to the northeast, and as it does, we get showery activity and the snow makes it down south and snow showers behind it. So as we head into Wednesday morning, we've got a real tough commute, but we also have snow showers throughout the day. Our winter storm warning holds until 11 p.m. Wednesday, so that'll give you an idea that a lot's going on. We also have high wind warnings going into effect at 2 p.m. for a bulk of southern Utah. Advisories on the southeastern side of the state, that really goes into effect later and into Wednesday. How much snow? This is the big question because this is a strong storm. Could get up to a foot in our northern valleys. That does include the Wasatch Front, 8 to 14 on the benches. Mountain valleys at 10 to 20. Northern mountains, 2 to 3 feet. Could go higher in the Cottonwoods. Central and southern valleys at 5 to 10. We've got a lot going on with rain to 3 inches for there in St. George. Now those travel impacts as we head into our Tuesday evening. They're going to be there for several of our main roads, including I-15. With rain transitioning over to snow, expect slushy, slippery conditions. 30s and 40s for those highs tomorrow, mainly hitting them into the overnight. Then the front comes through. We've got 50s and 60s in St. George. Now, southern Utah stays dry for tomorrow. Then they see rain transitioning to snow or mixed precipitation Wednesday, Thursday, and the possibility Friday. So that wraparound moisture keeps us on our toes. We're going to see that for the Wasatch Front as well. We do get snow potential that Wednesday doesn't want to show up, but we do see the chance of that isolated activity holding on.